wall. She had a candle by the bedside, but no matches, so she decided to navigate by moonlight. Creeping downstairs, she passed the sleeping dog in the kitchen and made for the scullery. She was trying to remember where the drinking glasses were kept. In the half-light, she saw a row of cups on the draining board. Taking the nearest one, she gave it a splash of cold water from the pump and gratefully drank it down. To her horror, something slimy and firm slipped into her mouth and slid down her throat. The screams were truly something to behold. Soon the kitchen and scullery, stop it. Soon the kitchen and scullery were filled with the family and the dog, all milling around Chantal, who was spark out on the floor. When the chaos subsided and Chantal was revived with the application of more cold water, she produced the phrase so suitably French it has stayed with me all my life. I have swallowed the frog! She thought she'd swallowed a frog. It is true that some pond life did pay visits into the kitchen. We'd had a frog in the kitchen just the day before and she thought she'd swallowed it. She got lots of sympathy from the female side of their household, not much from the male side who were too busy laughing uproariously. Later, my Aunt Jane confessed to us that she'd actually been transferring eggs from a basket to the cold slab in the scullery during the evening and had dropped one which had cracked. She'd turned the egg out of its shell into a cup beside the sink ready to use at breakfast time. Chantal had taken the raw egg cure, even if she thought she'd swallowed your actual frog. To this day, I believe, she believes this to be true. So my 